14 insane places you won't believe are real. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers comments. The Irish Viper had this to say. First, like, why do you not have more subs? That's a good question, Irish Viper. How about showing off our videos to your friends and tell them to subscribe? Thanks for commenting. Number 14, Mono Lake. This shallow lake located in Mono County, California is believed to have formed at the very least 760,000 years ago. Because this lake doesn't have an outlet, the water's salt level is considered to be extremely high, which is good for the thriving ecosystem found here. Brine shrimp are actually able to survive in the super salty water and are the perfect meal for hungry migrating birds and black flies. Number 13, Giant's Causeway. Officially declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO back in 1986, this region of around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns that was created by a primitive volcano that erupted is also a national nature reserve. Located on the northeast coast of Ireland, this is one of the country's most famous visiting spots for tourists, and here you can see these hexagonal, though some of them have more than six sides, columns that can stretch up to 39 feet high. Number 12, Las Salinas de Torrevieja. These two great salt lakes can be found near the city of Torrevieja in Spain, towards the west. Once there, you'll be able to safely swim in the bright pink water, unlike other lakes that have a much higher salt concentration. The water's vibrant color is caused by tiny little organisms called archaea that love to feast on the salt in the water. It's said that many locals and tourists alike come here to enjoy the wondrous healing properties of the lake by rubbing themselves with mud and then washing it away along with any negative energies. Number 11, the Spotted Lake. This interesting looking lake can be found in the eastern region of the Similkameen Valley of British Columbia, Canada. By taking Highway 3, you'll be able to reach this saline rich lake and take in its peculiar appearance. Unfortunately, you're prohibited to swim in this lake because it's been designated as cultural and ecologically sensitive, so you'll just have to enjoy the view from afar behind the built-in fence. Number 10, the Midway Geyser Basin. This basin is home to the Grand Prismatic Spring, which is the largest hot spring in the U.S. and can be found in Yellowstone National Park. Out of the several different basins that are spread alongside the Firehole River, this one happens to be the smallest. Not just the home of the biggest hot spring in the U.S., but also to the Excelsior Geyser that is reported to pour an astonishing 4,000 gallons of water per minute into the Firehole River. This geyser is 200 by 300 feet wide. Number nine, the Chocolate Hills. Situated in Carmen Bohol, a province in the Philippines, are the Chocolate Hills that cover an area of more than 20 square miles. The hills are covered in a layer of green grass that turns brown during the region's dry season. That's how the hills get their name. There's no exact number of known hills, but it's been hypothesized that there's somewhere between between 1,268 to roughly 1,776 of them. The hills range from a multitude of sizes and heights, but the tallest one of all is 390 feet. Number eight, Lake Natron. Classified as a salt and soda lake, no, not that kind of soda. That just means that the lake has a high concentration of carbonate salts, which most of the time, it's usually just sodium carbonate. This lake sits in the Arusha region in Northern Tanzania and is known for having such a deep color of red to it because of the fast rate of evaporation. The lake is called natron because there are high levels of it left behind when the water evaporates. Natron is known as sodium carbonate decahydrate. That's a mouthful. Number seven, Fly Geyser. Fly Geyser can be found on the outskirts of Nevada in Fly Ranch, Washu County, just on the edge of Fly Reservoir that's in the Hualapai Geothermal Flats. Measured at being five feet tall and 12 feet wide, this geyser is much different than all the rest. It wasn't formed naturally, entirely created by mistake due to well drilling back in 1964. The geyser eventually kept growing because it was either left uncapped or it wasn't capped the right way. Number six, Salinas Grandes. This huge salt flat in the central northern area of Argentina covers more than approximately 2,300 square miles. The salt flat has an average altitude of 557 feet above sea level and lays at the base of the Sierras de Cordoba mountain range. To give you an idea of how long it is, it spans the borders of four different provinces. Number five, Bryce Canyon. This stunning canyon is located in Bryce Canyon National Park 
in the southwestern portion of Utah in the United States. The name is actually pretty misleading, as the canyon is technically not even a canyon at all, but rather a collection of huge natural amphitheaters that are found all along the eastern side of a plateau. The area was first settled by Mormon pioneers back in the 1850s, and it wasn't until 1923 that the area was made into a national monument. It was only five years later that it would be named a national park. This place doesn't get many visitors compared to the Grand Canyon in Zion National Park because it's located in a more remote location and it covers more than 35,853 acres of land. Number four, Zhao Onsen. This winter wonderland hot spring is in the northern region of Honshu, Japan, where it sits on Mount Zhao. Legend has it that a wounded soldier pulled out an arrow from his body, only to have his wound magically healed by the water's natural properties. The spring may look nice, However, it does have a foul odor of rotten eggs thanks to the sulfur lingering in the air. The following picture shows these statues made out of snow that are dubbed snow monsters. Number three, China's Yunnan province. Found near alongside the Red River, this province in China is most famous for its rice paddying terracing it is incredibly phenomenal to look at. The province's main crop that they grow is of course rice. The beauty of this place is so amazing to look at that even the UNESCO World Heritage Site has made it an official world cultural and natural heritage site. The best time to visit would be during January to March in early spring. Number two, the Dalo Volcano. This volcanic explosion crater lies in the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia. Not many people come here as tourism isn't considered to have reached Ethiopia yet. The crater can only be reached by either a camel caravan or a four-wheel drive vehicle that must be rented from a nearby town that is a day away. The crater is surrounded by acidic hot springs, mountains of sulfur, pillars of salt, and pools of acid. The landscape gets its bizarre color pattern from a wide variety of minerals that are present. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these weird landscapes you'd like to visit, and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, the door to hell. No, not an actual door to the fiery pits of the underworld, but rather the nickname given to this natural gas crater it was created entirely by accident. Soviet engineers initially believed that they had found the site of a potential oil field, but were sorely mistaken when they drilled into this natural gas pocket. They decided to light it to burn off all the natural gases, and they thought that the gases would burn out in the span of a few days. Wrong. The gases have continued to burn for more than 40 years and still continue to do so to this day. It's not really sure as to when it will actually stop, and there's even been talk of covering it up, but nothing's been done so far. <laughs>